All right. Today we're making uh, potato wedges, homemade potato wedges. Uh, it's pretty, it's really cool to do. And uh, what you're gonna need is um, you're gonna need a you're gonna need a stove. Do you're gonna need pan and these uh, kind of little pans here. You stick you can stick in the oven. This is a uh, 15 inch times 10 inch. It's about 15 inch this way, 10 inch this way. So how long it is, how wide it is. So, and then you'll, well, you don't need this, but my dad made this, is invented something. And I'll show you something about that later when we get to it. Um, it's one of these knives we got from Shop and Save. You get so many stickers, you win them. Stamps or something, you win them. Um, and we got uh, I got a fork for whenever we test them like do this test them make sure they're good enough there's some aluminum foil you'll need that I mean if you don't want to have to use it you can not use it but gonna the potato wedge is gonna stick to your pan let's see if non-stick pan but non-stick pans don't work you say they're not sticking about so many things later they're not non sticking anymore You'll need a, um, some basil leaves. Some basil leaves. Some garlic salt. And vegetable or olive oil, which is a vegetable oil. Or just any kind of oil. Whatever you want to use. I got it from this cookbook. Kids cookbook, Betty Crocker stuff. This is my dumb brother. Mom. Mm. And I got a pot holder over here, which I really don't. Actually, I do need that. Never mind. I, I do need that. Some uh, you'll need some red potatoes. Doesn't really matter how big they are, but I got the red, the big thing of red potatoes, and a mixing bowl. So um, that's what we got here. Oh, and I gotta find some. This is the one tablespoon thing you will need. You only need one measuring kind of thing. This is one TBS, or it should say tablespoon. You need one of them as well. And uh, I will start showing you how to do this. Now, for for, for starters, you will need. It sounds kind of high, but you will need to preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So bake or whatever. And then five hundred degrees and it'll start preheating about like right now. Like that. So now now it's preheating we can do the potatoes and stuff. I'm gonna um I'm gonna start with cutting the potatoes. Ooh, potatoes! Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna start cutting the potatoes. We need potato and uh, a knife for this to cut to cut with. This is what you do. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. I'm just showing you. And don't cut the skin off. You can if you want to, but you just cut like this. Go down. That I'll put this all one off to the side, and then you start cutting it like this. They're not exactly potato wedges, but like not wedges, but they're potatoes. Those are just about the size you need to have them. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. What? Is this your shirt? Yes. Okay. And then you cut this one. Like that. Do that. I'm all over. That's how you cut a potato. I'll do all right, we are back, and uh, we got all—I got all the potatoes cut up here. 
These are all the potatoes. These are just a serving amount that I've decided to use. So uh, now we gotta do is we gotta stick these potatoes, and bring them over here to this bowl. Okay, we're back again. Uh, my assistant, because the stinking tripod won't work, is my brother. Uh -huh. Just to let you know, we're from Granite City. <laughs> okay. Look for this all. Um. Show it over this bowl. Ooh, a bowl! Oh, hallelujah. We got a bowl here. We're gonna throw these potatoes into the bowl. Okay. So, let you know, Austin is new at doing cameras. No, I've held a camera before. It just. You, t you told me to have it at the bowl first. Oh my, my god, this! Pouring this into a giant bowl! Oh god! I'll throw these in the air. It'll be a while. Alright, we're back. We're there. And, um. We're gonna. Uh. We're gonna season? We're gonna season and put oil into the potatoes. Didn't see that. Um, I'm gonna open this. You open the basil leaves up. I'm gonna take um, one tablespoon of basil leaves. Sure to hey now, now one tablespoon of this doesn't have to be exact. Just about that much. Sprinkle it in there like that. It's a little bit much right now, but it's fine. It'll be end up being mixing mixed. So now that's done, I'm going to use some garlic salt. I'll do one tablespoon of garlic salt. We don't need this. Make sure pour over this. It's okay if a little bit comes into the bowl while you're shaking, but. Like a little bit much, but it isn't. So, um. You sure? Yeah. We'll end up mixing it up, but it's gonna go on all of them. Yeah. Do, now, I really, do I really need to taste test them? Because I already know what they taste like and they taste awesome. I don't care. Um. Just make sure they're not poisonous. So I'm gonna give them to my brother and he's gonna try them. Because I'm smart! <laughs> <laughs> and, um. Now we gotta use some vegetable oil. Or vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever kind of crap oil you want to use. Two tablespoons. You just use this. Pour it in there. Boom. Pour it in there. Boom. Twice. Wow. Two tablespoons of vegetable or whatever kind of oil crap you got. Open this up. It's more burning. Mm. So we pour that. We do this, I don't know why, it makes it probably makes it crispier, but all the salt and the basil leaves ends up sticking to the uh, to the potato when we pour this around here. So that's two tablespoons of vegetable oil or whatever kind of oil you want to use. Now that we got that stirred up. Oh, okay, now we got that stirred up. Alright, don't mess with that. Now we got to <laughs> stop. I won't know where to edit this stuff now. Going nuts. Well, take your hands or a spoon, which I'm going to take my hands and wash them after. Did take you wash your hands before? Yes. And you mix it. It's a cold potatoes, my lord. Stop. how you mix them. You get the salt and the basil leaves all coated around this stuff. So. We're almost done. I'm going to take that 
have what's supposed to be at? 500 right. degrees. Just nuts. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to go. Okay, now we're done. Okay, we're back. And um, now we're going to learn how to wash our hands. Yeah, we need to wash our hands. <laughs> First, what the heck? First, you turn the water on for the tip. Then, you take your hand and you wash them. And then, you take some soap, put a little bit on there, good. That's dishwasher soap. Dish soap. It's not dishwasher stuff. It's soap. That's just a dish soap. That's a dishwasher. I know. You just take the soap and you wash it. Ah, oh, crap. But, you know, there was hand soap over there. <laughs> I did. Why don't you pick this? Because it works better. Okay, now that you wash your hands, turn it off. And then you come over here and you do this. And then you do this. Fly them off. Now that I know how to wash my hands, I can do it again. <laughs> okay, now that we have this done, now we go to the pan. Bring the bowl over to the pan. And then you put And then we take aluminum foil, just dish. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna stick our potatoes. Okay. Stick our potatoes. I'm gonna make too many potatoes in it. Perfect. Can I have them now? Yes. Thank you. Whoa! Buzz, buzz! Stop. Put our potatoes. Start putting them on here. All like this. Not a big enough pan. Well, if I need another pan, I'll reach in the oven. I've got another pan in there. All right, we're back, and uh, see if we got almost all the potatoes up here. The oven's preheated, so uh, still got some potatoes in there. So I'm gonna reach in the oven and give me another pan out. That one I'm not gonna stick aluminum foil on. Because that is hot. It's a hot pan in the oven. So I'm going to get me that right now. Alright, we're back again. So I put my money times in the back. Uh, I've got all the potato wedges on the pans here. No more potato wedges in the bowl. So now we're going to stick them in. The oven's been preheated for a little while, so... Alright. They're both in the oven, so... We're gonna set the timer for eight minutes. And uh, we'll see how it is in eight minutes. All right, we're back. Five seconds, pretty much. The timer goes off. What? Ow. Timer is off now. Now that's done. You open that up, and all you do for this is you just check it. Get a little approximate, honestly. They still need to go in though. They still need to be in there. Another, hmm. See, I put them in there for eight. Stick them in there for another nine. So, uh, press the timer button. And now they're on for nine minutes. So we'll see how they are in nine minutes. All right, we are back. Timer went off, apparently. This thing's gonna suck. Okay, since the timer went off, now we're gonna check the potatoes. Which, really, we're gonna get them out. There's the potatoes in there. That's them over there too. It's a lot of potatoes. So now we're gonna get them out. Here's how we're gonna do that. Put your oven mitt on. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Put it down there. I'm gonna take this, do that. Oh, it's easy for me to hold the 
thing out. <laughs> Take this. You can do it with both hands if you want. I just like doing one hand. Take that. And you'll probably come over here. Now we're going to test them. I'm going to use this stick. Fork. Oh, yes. They're hot. That part I'm not... Burn my hand, though. So. Okay, now we're going to take the other ones out because these seem perfectly fine. Okay, that pan's hot though. Duh. Why? That still tastes good. We can put the rest of them up here as well. I just got a tiny bite of heaven. It steamed a little bit differently because there's air up here and air down there. So. <laughs> They're hot. You're the one apparently didn't know that. No, I you knew didn't it. You know the pan was hot. I knew it. But now I will say a few degrees. of them will be burnt. But not not many. I don't think any of them are burnt. Well, I see one. A few of them are crispy, but okay. Those we can give to Dad. And now we're gonna have Austin try a small one. Which one of these you want? The one oh, I, I can touched. Hold. I can hold this now. I touched that one. So I'm gonna have this video is like 50 minutes. It's gonna be way. Give me the dang fork. Oh my God. <laughs> Take the half. What the crap? <laughs> Why are you taking a video for you getting a plate of food? Because I want to make sure it's not food poisoning. Go. I like potato. Go. Dumbass. You don't care. That particular word, you, starts with a Y. But the letter U. Okay, we're done with these potato wedges and apparently they're good. So uh, we're done with this video.